You're listening to 88.1 FM WVYC York. This is Brandy LM Radio. It is 8 o'clock, and I'm your host, Brandy L. Mummert. Um, this was previously called Brandy's Outlet Hour, but I think I'm just going to turn it to Brandy LM Radio because, like I promised, I actually did make a website. So um, I know for those of you who listened last time, I always said, like, oh, if you want to see any highlights or anything, you can go to Google and then go here, and then go here, and it was just complicated. So over break, I did what I promised, and now it's just Brandy with an I, lm.com. And if you go there, there's a radio tab, so you can, like, listen to older shows. You can listen live if it doesn't come in too well over your um, car radio, anything like that. So I'm happy to be back. Well, happy to be back on the radio anyway. I don't know. School is... that's different. Um, (laughs) But anyway... I'm excited because I have a very special guest here today, and that is, well, his name is John Beck, but many people know him as Albert Orkin Bjorken, and if you want to say hi, you can go ahead. Hi, everybody. (laughs) Okay, so I'm super excited to have him on today. We are going to be talking about, well, he's kind of like the face of York right now. I mean, everybody knows who he is. Um, (laughs) He does a lot of really good things for the community. And he also runs sound, but what a lot of people don't know about him is, like, his own musical talents and all the bands that he's been in, his tours and all that. And so I want people to see the side of him that no one else gets to see. And, of course, we'll talk about the good that he's been doing for our community as well. But before we start, um, as always, I'm going to play three songs from the studio. And the cool part about... Uh, the first one that we're playing is, um, the lead singer was a friend of Jeremy's in high school. Um, this is Analog Watts, and they actually just played at Newgrounds, which is where mm-hmm. Albert works. So, it works out really well. Um, this is No Mo Run by Analog Watts on 88.1 <laughs> FM WBYC York. <laughs>
You're listening to 88.1 FM WVYC York. This is Brandy LM Radio, and I am Brandy. Um, today we have an awesome guest here, Albert. Oh my God, Albert Organ Bjorken. <laughs> oh my God, Bjorken. Bjorken sorry. I I can say it. I swear to you, I can say it fine. And I did it at home, but because I'm thinking about it, I'm doing it wrong because I'm thinking about it. Okay. <laughs> Um, anyway, we're going to be on with him in just a second, and we're going to talk about, like, not only his activism, but the stuff that you guys don't ever get to see, like, the talented musician that he is. We're even going to talk about playing in his underwear, so you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this. But for now, um, the songs that you just heard were, I don't know where they went, but, hmm. Okay, well, (laughs) sorry, the first one was No More Run by Analog Watts. Anyway, I'm going to give you a quick weather update, and then we're going to have a slight commercial break, as in like a 30-second commercial break, and then we're going to be back on and get this interview started, so I'm super excited about it. Um, it's definitely gotten colder, so it's there's currently wind from the west at 3 miles per hour. Um, it's overcast with a humidity of 96%. That's a lot of humidity. Atmospheric pressure, 29.56 inches. Tonight there will be rain, snow after midnight, little or no snow accumulation, lows in the mid-30s, northwest winds 15 to 20 miles per hour, gusts up to 35 miles per hour this evening, chance of precipitation near 100%. Tomorrow will be cloud. Are you laughing at the 100%? Oh, okay, because... It made me think of Mean Girls, but anyway. Um, cloudy, a chance of rain in the morning. Highs in the lower 40s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour with gusts up to 25 miles per hour. Chance of rain, 40%. Tuesday night will be partly cloudy. Lows in the lower 30s. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, there's a small craft advisory for York County in effect until 6 p.m. I don't know what a craft is. Do you, do either of you know what a small craft? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what I was thinking, like an aircraft or like. I'm not really quite sure what that. I don't know. We'll have to Google that during the yeah. break because I'm <laughs> interested to know what that is. Um, anyway, we have a few quick announcements for you, and then we will be back with this interview. To be a teacher when you were little, but as you grew up, things changed. Teaching just didn't seem like the best option anymore, so you decided to become something else. But what would your 12-year-old self say? Interesting and innovative things are happening in teaching today. So it's time to put it back on your list. Don't try to convince yourself otherwise. You had it right the first time. Find out how you can make more at teach.org. Make more. Teach. Brought to you by Teach and the Ad Council. WVYC, the voice of York College, wants you to know. The York Music Group, a part of YCP's Music Industry and Recording Technology Program, is looking to hire a chief operating officer. You must be a full-time student (laughs) majoring in music industry and recording technology with at least one year of progressive, responsible work knowledge to apply. This is a paid position. Interested candidates should submit a cover letter and resume and three letters of recommendation to Dr. Sean Young at S-Y-O-N-G, the number 23, at ycp.edu before March 15th. Again, if you are interested in that position, it's S Y O U N G 23 at ycp.edu. All right. And I don't know. I thought that sounded cool for you, but then I realized the student part. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Not even an alum- alumni, <laughs> actually. <clears throat> well, you may not be a student, but who are you? I'm John Beck, uh, aka Albert. Toast Unicorkin Orkin Bjorkin. Okay, or, I'm going to let you be responsible for saying <laughs> that. Or uh, I also go by LBJ, which is uh, short for Little Big John, because I'm short and fat. <laughs> <laughs> it does roll off the tongue very well, though. Little Big John. <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's thank you. Funny. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically. You're known a lot for your activism, and you're basically, like, the your, the voice of your county right now. I mean, um, so we see you on the news and stuff all the time, and then also people know you as the sound guy. The sound guy. That's <laughs> the sound title. guy. The yeah. sound guy. For, 
especially new grounds, but it's really like all over the place. So we'll talk to you like more about that. But I want you guys to get to see the side of him that you don't always get to see. But I do want to start a little bit with your work in the community, especially at a time like this when, you know, everything is so divided and stuff. Like, I don't talk politics on this show because I don't, I don't know. I just don't want to get into that. But, um, just, I don't know, at a time when things are so divided, what are you doing? Uh, we're trying to, uh, get rid of that division and unify people. Um, yeah, I started doing this stop the violence stuff, uh, <clears throat> about a year and a half ago and then uh, I moved on to do other projects like the free hugs thing and uh, I teamed up with some people to do the uh, unity walks you know right after the election yeah. you know it wasn't a political thing it was just people getting together and trying to feel safe and we were giving them a safe place to go and we even had some Trump supporters there too so yeah so it wasn't it was literally we were unifying people so that's that's why we did that and I think that was very important and we're gonna keep doing that stuff um we're working on that <laughs> yeah definitely so. you have to let me know when like the next things yeah yeah I'll definitely let everyone know about that <laughs> uh, definitely so in addition to the things that you do on your own um what are some of the things that Newgrounds has done? And if you forget anything, I'm pretty, I know a lot of this because I talked to you about it for the article I was writing. Right. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Newgrounds is literally the uh, epitome of what I stand for. Um, we're very community based. Uh, we love getting people together. Uh, we're very family friendly. We do a lot of events. Uh, we raise a lot of money for people. Uh, organizations we um we try and help out as many families as possible we just gathered up uh clothes and toys for about 45 families i think i forget That's the exact so awesome. numbers but yeah we do stuff like that and we help out olivia's house which is one of the most incredible organizations on the entire east coast i mean it's it's a a uh, grieving center for children and families and they help so many people and I love them so much. And they they are just incredible people. And I love being able to help them because they need it. <laughs> so it's great. And, you know, we also do fundraisers for, you know, breast cancer awareness and other cancers. And, mm -hmm. you know, try and help families out that are struggling with that and trying to pay their bills and stuff. So it's it's really important to us that, you know, we do that stuff. And that's that's kind of what represents who I am. So it's great that I have a job that can do that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And he is being modest because they have also helped out the Bell Associates, the, the yes, rescue we, mission. Yes. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Got, no, it's you okay. can expand no, no, on you, it. You, <laughs> you got it. Um, we, we've helped out so many organizations. Like It is hard to keep track of, but uh, we also help out the YWCA every year. Uh, we didn't actually this year. There was too much of a schedule conflict but we help out with the breast or the uh domestic violence um awareness month uh we do a we usually do a benefit concert and we have uh survivors uh that are actual performers and we come up and they come up and they'll either do poetry or sing and we try and raise money to help out with uh raising awareness and stuff like that so okay. yeah it's it's really important and we're very unique because there isn't a whole lot of spaces that do that kind of thing around here and like there's i mean there's some obviously but uh we're one of the few main music venues that do that kind of yeah. thing. yeah so and it's i don't know it's awesome like you're so much more than like a coffee shop you're also a music venue but then you're so much more than a music venue you're also just like a community center and then you're also a boxing ring so yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, not you are physically a boxing no. ring no i, I couldn't <laughs> The only thing I know about boxing is uh, people punch each other. <laughs> but no, there, I know there's a lot more to that. And it's it's definitely an art form because sometimes when I watch them in the back, they're very articulate and very, it's just, it's almost like dancing how they do it. Mm -hmm. It's like choreographed. And I think that's incredible. And and their stick and move is amazing. They, they are actually an uh, after school program and they help kids out a lot. Mm -hmm and get them off the streets and help them defend themselves. 
and they also do personal training for adults too so they're they're awesome so i'm really glad they've been a part of the family good yeah. people it is really cool what they're doing like um antoine dorm the yes. one who runs that just i don't know he told me a lot of like cool stories about i don't know like transformations that yeah. it's made and he said there was like something specifically that i thought was really cool like he helps the bullies I mean, he helps the bullied, like, build confidence, but then he also helps the bullies by showing them, like, you know, it's not that easy, like... Yeah. <laughs> and no, just it, kind of... It, it's amazing. His son is amazing, too. He's yeah. only 12, and he got third place in the Junior Olympics in Texas? Yeah. Like, That's pretty uh, So, basically, <laughs> he is the third best boxer in the United States. So like, far as... Well, that, like, as a young... That age group, yes. For the age yes. group, yeah. Which is just incredible, you know, yeah, to have it, something like that in New York, uh, traveling that far, and to be able to take on all those people <laughs> yeah it's incredible like that yeah. is so cool so i'm i don't know it's just awesome that yeah. there's something that close to home and yeah. it's a really good program <laughs> so um i know one of the other ones you mentioned was heavenly paul's yes uh they are a non-kill shelter and they help out lots of cats <laughs> yes and i that's really that's another thing that's really important to me too is animal advocates um advocacy i I'm a part of several groups uh, that help out animals, and it's really important. And I wish I could do more with it, but I have four jobs, so it's really hard. But yeah. I, I love what they're doing. I, and then uh, I help out Heavenly Paws uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, we did a fundraiser with them, with uh, the guys from The Fortress, which is another amazing thing. <laughs> I don't know but, of The Fortress. I did oh. know of Heavenly Paws, but I didn't know. Of oh, them. yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're starting a robotics school right downtown right across Whoa, the street from Newgrounds that's and that's so cool yeah they're gonna build drones and robots and it's basically Skynet <laughs> as long as they're not gonna spy on me with drones no 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 it won't be anything like maybe that maybe that's but the craft they were talking about maybe I don't know <laughs> but no they're, they're great people and uh, uh, <clears throat> they did a presentation with uh, virtual reality and people came in and they donated money to Heavenly Paws and uh, it's great I love what they're doing too but also, I help out animal advocates uh, of South Central Pennsylvania. 